Hey everyone, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. This is Simple Logo Animation Season 1, Episode 4. Thank you for 20,000 subscribers, actually 21,125 subscribers at the time of recording this tutorial. So today, we are going to create this. Let's jump right into it. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call this classy logo animation. I am using 1920 by 1080 frame size, and a frame speed of 30 frames per second. You can keep your own settings. Now, add a nice looking background in this project. You can download this background image from the link in the description. And it will fit perfectly. Now, add your logo too. You can use any logo or text you want. The process is same for both. Place your logo above the background layer. And it will automatically align to the center. Now right click on your logo and pre-compose it. Let's call it logo. Also, make sure to select move all attributes into the new composition. And then hit OK. If you select your logo you will see this anchor point in the middle of your logo layer. This is the center point of your layer or image, your logo will react, according to this center point. If you change any transformation property of your logo, you will see your logo is changing according to this point. Press S to open scale, and start scaling your logo. You will see your logo is scaling through this center point. Now, press R to open rotation. If you rotate your logo, your logo will rotate like this. You can see this in close up, your logo is rotating from the middle point. By the way, subscribe me for more tutorials. So we are going to place this center point to the top, something like here. Go to your tools, and select this pen behind or anchor point tool. Now, select your anchor point, and drag it to the middle top. I am placing it in the center of my project screen. Now, if you rotate your logo, you will see your logo is rotating like a pendulum. We just need to add keyframes to the rotation at different time intervals. Let's change rotation value to 0, then go to 1 second and add a keyframe. Now go to the beginning frame, and change the rotation value to something 100 degrees. Your logo should disappear from the first frame, like me. Now, if you see, your animation will look like this. But this is not attractive, let's create some wiggly stopping in the end, to make it look more interesting. In the bottom of your After Effect window, you will see this slider. If you drag it to the right, you can see your layer frame level are zooming in. Now you can see more frames between your 1 second timing. Let's zoom in more to see the every 5 seconds frame of the timeline. We need this step compulsory, so follow this carefully. Now go to the 10th frame, and change rotation value to negative 6. Next, go to the 15th frame and change rotation value to positive 4. Again go to the 20th frame, and change rotation value to negative 2. Now the last, go to the 25th frame, and change the value to positive 1. Let's trim out the comp area to play this area only, press enter trim. Ram preview this, and you will see this kind of animation. Now select all keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Also, switch on the motion blur for this layer. If you don't see this switch tab here, right click here, and in the column section, select switches. Now click on this motion blur icon, and also, click on this icon as well 
to activate the motion blur for the below layers. Now ramp preview this and you will see this animation. Perfect. Now we are going to make duplicate copies of this logo animation layer, select logo layer, and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate. Make around 4 copies. I am going to rename this top layer as the logo reveal, so we can identify it easily. So now, we have these 3 layers with the same name. So let's arrange the timing of these layers so they come one after one. Keep the last layer as it is, and start putting second layer starting at 5 frames, the third layer at 10th frame, and the last logo reveal layer at 15th frame. Your layers should look like this. Now go to the effects, and search for fill effect. Add this effect on these all three layers, but not the logo reveal layer, because it is going to show our logo. Now change fill color to some soft light orange color. You can use any color you want, but different color on each layer is required. Now copy this fill effect and paste it onto the below logo layer. And change its color as well, I am using blue color for this layer. Again paste the same fill color on the last logo layer. And change color to some green color. Ramp preview this, and you will see this animation. In case you don't like the speed, you can always change the position of these layers to decrease the time gap and make it faster. But make sure to use the same distance for each layer. Perfect. Now you have this animation. Let's move to the next step. Go to around 1 second and 10th frame. And select all these logo layers, except the logo reveal layer. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus D and then, press Delete key. Your logo layers will trim out. We don't need those logo layers to be this lengthy. Cool. It's time to add your text. You can skip this step if you don't want to use text in your intro. Type your text, and by the way, you can download this font from the link in the description. Select the move tool and put this text below the logo layer. Make sure your text size is smaller than the logo, else you have to watch my another tutorial on masking. If your text is larger than the logo, you can always change its size in the character tab. Let's place it here, and align it to the center horizontally. Go to around 1 second and 20th frame, select your text and press P to open position, and add a keyframe on it. Now go to the 1 minute and 10th frame, and change position to something middle of your logo. Perfect. Do the same with the logo reveal layer, press P to open position, and add a keyframe on it. And at the 1 second and 20th frame change its position to something like this. I am just adding a proper distance between logo and text. But your text is visible above the logo, so place this text layer below the logo layer. Also, select these keyframe and press F9 to easy ease them as well. Now the last step is to trim the text layer start timing. Select your text layer, and at the edge of this layer start trimming out. Make sure to trim, not drag, so, we did this again. Don't forget to download project files from the link in the description. In the next tutorial, we will talk about the lower thirds, as you requested on Twitter. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Have a good day.